I have a friend that's having a cage custom made for her crimson bellied conures. It got me to thinking, if I was having a custom cage made, what would I do? What are the three things that I would choose for my cage to have? Three important things that I feel like cages don't usually have, and I think that they need, or they don't have, period. Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Pair of the Spawn, and the new book, It's No African Grey and Cape Parrots. I'm hanging out with my golden conure, one of my Quakers, and my macaw. I have over 22 species of parrots. I love my parrots. If you already knew that, you're used to hanging out. Thanks for being here. Let's talk cages. <music> So three things. The first thing might be easy and obvious. You know, those darn king cages, they're expensive, they're awesome, and they've got the food bowl on the outside of the cage. That means that your parrot can't perch and then like have their food bowl under them so that they poop and pee into their cage. That drives me crazy. So I would have that kind of a food dish that you can access from the outside to change out but you can hi sweetie you can um you know you just they can't defecate into it that would make me happy i mean if your cage is big enough it shouldn't really be a problem but this kind of makes sure i really like that that's one thing i would definitely do the second thing i would do is i would design the cage so that uh, I had three dishes, one for water, one for fresh vegetables and or nuts, you know, depending on the time of day, and the third one with pellets. So I would design it so that those three bowls were on one side of the cage. That way I can easily get to them. But also, again, that means that the other side of the cage can be like their toys, their purchase. And it's like you have a play side that hopefully stays cleaner and then another side that has the dishes and it's meant to sort of be the eating side. I try to do that myself in my parrot's cages as much as I can. And when I can pull that off, I like it. I have a lot of the no mess seed dispensers, which I use for pellets. And I really like those because I can hang it anywhere on the inside of the cage and it has a cover, which means that even if they defecate on top of it, it doesn't get in their food. So it gives me a chance to make sure that if I'm out of the house for a couple hours, my parrots still have clean food. And then later I can come and change out their, um, clean out their feeder. So I like that and I like having them on one side, but if I could have that built in, man, that would be nice. Especially because it's just a matter of time, unfortunately, be before those no mess feeders, um, feeders, they, they break. Somehow or another, the birds knock it down, somebody knocks it down, and they are plexiglass, so they just don't last forever. Oh, don't eat my earring. Yeah, please don't eat my earring. Hi, Bellatrix. Yeah, don't, don't eat the earring. I, there's like no thing you could have eaten. It's there, but I could feel you biting away. The third thing that I would do is the side of the cage that was like their play area. I would have some solid plates, either metal plates or something, some sort, like if I could build it in, I think I would like some solid metal plates so that I could have a perch there and then they could have like two sides that are dark, which means that they could have a little privacy. I might even have a third plate on the inside, but basically if two sides of the cage had metal plates, when they go to the corner, they feel like they have a little private space. I think that that would be so great. Actually, even um, if it was built up higher and there were four sides with the ability to put a perch in it, that means they would have what I call the upside down bat box, which means without having to cover the cage, my parrot can go into a place that's nice and private. They can feel like they're private and unseen and they can really rest if they want to. Then if it's made out of metal, one of the advantages is I can just power wash it or you know wash it down real clean because of course wood does absorb um, bacteria. The advantage is when they are wood is it gives the bird something to bite. 
But there you have the three things that I would do. Outer bowls, bowls on one side, and some sort of sleeping area for my parrot. That would be so fantastic. You might still want to cover your parrot at night, but it gives them the option to go and rest somewhere if they want. And they also really like having that one place. You'll notice that they always go to the same perch to sleep. And if it's a private perch, I just feel like they get to go and go to somewhere that reminds them, you know, like I suppose even fancier would be metal plates on all four sides with that perch on the, you know, in the plate so that they can go underneath and up onto the perch and their tail sticks out, but their head, you know, uh, doesn't, they don't see anything, right? They would just see four walls. What would be really cool is if those four walls had like little leaf cuttings because that is the most like being in a tree. Some light comes through just a little, but for the most part, they feel like they're safe and sound because uh, they're hiding in a tree and they know that they disappear in trees. So that's what I would do. Uh, not that I think you're designing your own cage, but it might give you ideas. I hope that really helped you. If you want some awesome parrot merch, please be sure there's some of my parrot merch to visit shop.parrotbliss.com. My daughter makes awesome illustrations and drawings like this one, my coffee cup that I really love, and that's available on our site too. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to post them below so that Bow Tricks can give me the answers to help you have a more blissful bond with your parrot. I will catch you in the next blissful video.